Hi guys, another charity shop find, another little radio controlled car, another 2.4 gigahertz one. They seem to be getting more common in the charity shops now. And I've already replaced the batteries in it and already tried it with that little 2.4 gigahertz transmitter that I found in a charity shop a while back. And they don't match. So all we can really do with this one is take it apart and have a look inside. Um, when you switch it on, you do get sound effects. But that's all. It's clearly just single channel as I'd call it, forwards and backwards and then when it goes backwards this little wheel slops around and it turns in reverse. Other than that, uh, mm, might have LEDs there from the looks of it for lighting. Cost me 99 pence in Age UK. So we'll have a look inside. Without the transmitter, it's pretty useless to be honest, isn't it? Over the years when I've been doing this, the 27 megahertz, usually we can get a matching transmitter than the 40 megahertz. But I've noticed these 2.4 gigahertz ones, looks like we're back to the drawing board with them, they don't seem to be compatible with each other. Unless I get lucky and find, find a transmitter that's sort of universal. Okay, what have we got there? So we've got some LEDs on a little circuit board here. surface mount LEDs and then up here there must be the switch the push button switch that we operate through there and I expect the speakers up there as well No, it's not. <laughs> I can see the speaker. It's just there, isn't it? So this will be the actual 2.4 gig receiver. Yeah. So I guess that's what this is. It's got a little crystal on there. So I think that says 2.4 on it. It's a bit faded, can't quite make it out. That's the button. I would guess that bit, the black blob. Uh, oh, I don't know. That goes to the motor. What goes to the speaker? Um, that's the speaker output. Yeah, so I should think that's the sound control or sound effects. And that's the actual 2.4 gigahertz module. Well, let's zoom in a bit. Really isn't a lot we can see there, so reading that on there, TNT two four 
RC is that RCS or RC5? Can't quite make it out with my eyes. V2 version 2. So I would guess that's the receiver module. That's RC6, isn't it? Because it's written again just there. Right, well that's that bit. Um, I might as well strip this right down because it's no use to me as a car. Let's zoom out again. So that's a little speaker unit. A little freewheeling wheel, front wheel. I wonder if that's a usable gearbox and motor assembly. At least it would be if we can get the wheels off, because we can't lift it out through there without getting the wheels off. I've got to say, it's very tempting just to snap that. I'm not going to be using the chassis for anything. Brute force time. There we go, a little bit of adjustment to the chassis and we can lift the motor and gearbox unit out. So that's okay. That's worth keeping. Nice little motor and gearbox. And at the front end, same problem, we can't make any use of that front wheel and axle without getting the wheels off. Although to be honest they'll be hard plastic, they're probably not much use for anything. And we've got a little battery box that we could use possibly. On-off switch. takes three AAA batteries. So yeah, a little battery box like that might be worth saving. I'll have to cut round it. I hate these wheels that are fixed in place. Leave it one on. Right, so that's off. What's left? Smaller screwdriver. So 
disconnect them. So what I'll do, even though I've got no matching transmitter, I'll put this in a little bag and save it for future reference. We've got a little axle, probably useless, but we'll save it. And like I said, I might just cut round that so we've still got a little battery box for three AAA batteries. And that's it. First, you know. oh, doesn't matter now. Right? So there's our battery box. Oh, they come off that way. There we go, nice little battery box, three AAA batteries. So we can resolder onto there. So instant recycling. And all that lot can go in the bin. And that, not going to be using that for anything. Done. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's Other Channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page, and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops. One on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.